husband and son are <laughs> Bob Ross are off to see Shazam and so I get to go to my favorite place. Gross rainy day, but that's all right because that just means there's less people here at the bend. Oh my goodness, we got it back in. Yay. Into two spaces. We're backing into two spaces. Two spaces it is. All right. We can back into two spaces. Here we go. Let's see if rainy day is good luck day at the Goodwill bins. Oh man, we're starting strong with uh, some tumbleweave out in the parking lot. Hope there's less of that inside. singing well, that's just sad now y'all plastic swallow I actually like it Pretty sure I actually have that one. Once again, I've gotten distracted and I've been picking stuff up without showing them to you. Uh, some cute uh, marked made in China dishes. A whole s six bowls of uh, Arcarok, but on crystal. Christmas mugs, some more dishes, which I don't need, Let's see what these are down here, okay. that's all the colors, that one's pretty. dishes. Look that one up. 
one. So that one actually looked like it might be worth something, at least uh, replacements. App looks like they like it. They've had lots of really cute punch bowl cups, which I don't need. Uh, Grandicorn, like a normal person, but way more awesome. Aww, that's a grandpa corn. I'm a grandma corn. Oh well. Sad silk flowers. It's definitely an older frame. But these are nice. They've got the glass, the buttons got the tip in the glass. And lots of shoes. Those are kind of cute. Little wear. Alright. Pick up the blue. I normally start with blue, but decided to do the sides today. I was wondering if we were going to be cherub free today, but I don't think we are. Now to decide if it's worth the buy. I feel like I'm being like really picky and just like really selective on what I'm getting and yet uh, that's my card I just I don't know I think I got some good stuff I'm not even halfway through like these sandals Uggs these booties Vionics this is a Toomey small duffel. Uh, lots of really cute clothes. I, I don't know. Did I do good? We'll see later. Do I need another wall hanging? I think I do. I feel like um, I'm probably on restriction now because I'm bad girl. I'm bad girl. Also, 100% cannot stand lipstick. I feel like a street walker every single time. All right, got the kid dropped off at school and uh, I need to take some of this stuff in to wash. So let's go through it. Got this sweater, distress sweater, uh, Nido Shop. I don't know, never heard of it. It looks cute, it's super soft. I know a lot of people are not buying sweaters anymore, but I wear warm stuff year-round. I live in Mississippi. Uh, I love to snuggle in a good sweater. So, I pick up stuff based on what I like, and uh, so I do. Uh, Ellen Tracy cardigan. Super cute. It's a small. This is easel. It's a size small. It is so oversized. 
be really cute. It's very lightweight. You could wear this definitely all spring long. This is a wrap skirt. I want to say this one lands in... No, Express. Express wrap skirt. 3-4. This is Torrid, size 1. It's a high-low tunic. Always picking up flannels. Ocean Coast. I have no idea. It's a large. I think this one is also Ocean Coast, size large. And these are some jeans, some... Levi's. I want to say they were size six, no size four. They're like a straight skinny signature. Um, at waist boot cut. These were just some really cute loft Julie skinny size zero. That's my first bag. All right, bag two. I'm trying to be kind of careful because they used some of my bags to just stick my breakable stuff in. And I think the two back there have stuff in it and I want to be real careful. Uh, I can't turn down a good superhero costume. My granddaughter will enjoy these. Uh, this one's a little bigger. It's probably like a 5'6 or so. Um, this is a Vera Bradley scrub top. I thought that would be really cute. So, uh, never heard of this brand, but it felt really nice. Sugar Plus Lips. That's a medium large, just a black. Got this little bell sleeve. Another cardigan. This one is Cliché Couture. And uh, it's got this really nice soft lapel. lapel. Mm -hmm. Oh. I actually had thrown this in there. I was looking for the second part of it. And I never found it. But, oh well, whatever. It's a pajama top. Nordstrom's. Super soft. Size large. These are some Levi little overalls. Short alls. In a size... 8. Regular. Obviously, the kids ate. That is cute. Oh, little suspenders. And I thought those were adorable. Flannel. What is this one? Uh, St. John's Bay. Yeah. Gap legging jeans, size 6. They're like a mint green. It's looking more blue on the screen. Uh, some just little short alls. These are no boundaries. It's a Walmart brand. Uh, I thought I might try to like tie dye them or something. I don't know. This is a top. It's uh, DB, I have no idea. It's a uh, 1X. Obviously, very, very see-through. I don't know if you can see me, but also weighs nothing, so why yeah, wouldn't you throw it in there? From Mankind. Little rhinestone booty. Uh, size 29. This little linen shirt for kids, size 7, Eland, I have no idea. 
I actually have two of these sweaters. It's called Sunday Up. It's a cottage core sweater. It's got these really cute sleeves on it. Uh, would have been really adorable for Valentine's Day, but you know, cute year round if this is your vibe. And that's bag two. All right, bag number three. And this one has some of these little glasses. They clearly need to be washed. Definitely vintage. Uh, any markings, but oh. 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 And this mug, which was just kind of wonky and adorable, uh, hurtful home. Yeah. Let's see if we get. Jimbery fleece lined flannel. Ole Miss t shirt in a large, I think. So. Uh, this is has no tags, no idea. It's just a long cream dress. Kind of stretchy. Right, here's that other Sunday up sweater, also a medium slash large. I got a lot of, well, not a lot, but several of these like lighter tops, you know, coming up on spring. It's a Vince XL, I have no idea. I don't know if y'all have noticed, uh, not exactly a clothes horse myself. But uh, I usually just go by the feel of cloth when I'm going through the bins when I pull stuff out. Uh, a fever medium long cardigan, I guess, uh, a sweater, coat, dress, uh, anyway, this is, is it Eddie, oh, it's an American Eagle, top of the I just really like the lacy stuff on it. Uh, Panhandle XL. Uh, you can never go wrong with some uh, Frida Kahlo. Rip and dip. Looks like it's never been worn. And uh, this Adora. Says small, runs obviously very large cardigan, very boho, super cute. That's bag three. Okay, I've got one more bag in the corner. I do have some more in the trunk, but here is this definitely has a this beautiful plate by I got enduring company. Uh, there's only one of them, but when I looked it up, uh, replacements uh, are quite expensive. This is a, a champion sweatshirt. It's got tags, but it clearly needs to be cleaned. So, uh, that'll be coming off. It's a, I don't know if it's, it's an extra large, it says it's reversible, oh, reverse weave, whatever. It's super soft, super comfy, the 
the gold on it. I have to decide whether uh, it's getting just sold as damaged or try to bleach it and might wear it myself. Oh, this clearly they had this pinned and hanging on something, so it's just a little lace duster. Easter grass, uh, a loft petites medium, my blouse, oh. one of six of these arc wrap. Still have stickers on them. Don't know if I'm going to sell them as is, or uh, I was thinking about trying to make candles in some of the stuff, uh, the vessels I've thrifted. This is a free assembly. Triple XL. This is cute. A Timberland short sleeve men's shirt. This is a Max and Mia pencil skirt. Looks like it's never been worn. Thought this was a really cute sweater. Uh, intro medium. Got kind of the ombre color. Oh, it's so soft, y'all. It is so soft. What is this? One hundred percent polymassic. I don't, I don't know. Do y'all know what polynosic is? I mean, I assume it's a polyester. So soft. Uh, this little cold water creek skirt. More jeans. These are Levi Perfect Waist 525 straight leg. Size 10. I assume a child's team. Those, those are tiny. And this little kids. Vanilla Star Girls 7 8. These show up quite a lot. Um, I've been buying them to add uh, transfers to that I bought online. Um, so that's all the bags in the car I have. I think I have maybe one more bag of clothes and one with linens in it. And I have some uh, hard stuff. Okay, so to complete my car haul, I got this little reindeer, uh, needs to be cleaned, obviously, uh, little plastic containers, this tiny little stoneware bowl, it is marked, uh, not sure what it's marked with. I will have to figure that out. Uh, actually, I think that reflection, I might be able to, when I'm looking back at this, tell what it does. This is just a little brass pot made in India. A little plant pot. Clean that up. A jar. I'm not sure what kind of jar it is. I just 
liked it. And then I got some picture frames. There's this one and this one. Okay, I got in the trunk. Uh, go ahead and clear all this out. This is like a stack of 10 of these that, you know, are normally, these are from like the dollar store probably, but for 15 cents. Uh, these, I only pick up shoes if they're in like super good shape because I'm not dealing with it. So these are some UGG, little platform heels, sound up to these. And these are some Vionic black booties. I mean, really, really good shape. Okay. And that is that bag. All right, this is the last bag of clothing, which also means it probably has the other crystal bowls in it. I think that is the end of the dishes I bought. I thought I could untie this rather quickly while I recorded, but um, that was wrong. That was wrong. Okay, there we go. Alright, yes. There's three more of those crystal bowls. I'm gonna shove those back there. Alright. This needs a really good cleaning. Bandolini. It's a XXL little crepe purple. Very cute shirt. Uh, I also was looking for the other part of this pajama top. It's super soft and it's an XXL Flora. But uh, I did not find the bottoms. But I didn't go back, so it's fine. Eddie Bauer Happy Camper. Uh, youth size medium sweatshirt. And some Gap size 7, 8 Sweatpants, kids. Uh, this is just a little lace shrug. I think it was it was just a sheen. Shine, Cheyenne. I, I don't know how y'all want to pronounce it, but uh, solitaire. I don't know the brand, but it was super cute. Boho with these really big bell sleeves. It's a size small. This, uh, I did not see any tags in it, but I did a quick look up, and it looks like it is made from alpaca. And, yeah, no tags. I can find one that looks so much like it, but it has to be the same company that's making it, so I'm pretty sure I'll, yeah throw that up over here or something but it's super cute it's probably a small maybe a medium depending on how you want it to fit uh, these are just some uh, St. John's Bay size 16 there's a an Old Navy size 16 and these are some no idea. H I L T L. They're men's. They are 36 38 waist, it says. I don't know. I assume these are, you know, have been taken up by someone to fit someone in particular. Very nice. dress pants. Uh, I thought they might fit my husband. 
And uh, one last pair of jeans that are Banana Republic travel jeans. They are 36, 32. They do have some paint on them. So I thought I might play around with them a little bit. And that is all the clothing. I mean, you know. I guess I could have gotten more, but I'm not really sure how. And yet, I was really particular about what I got, somehow. I've only got two more bags to go through. One is my linens, and the other one is bags. A bag of bags, I understand. So, this is my linens. And I had to get my cherubs, this old blankie, uh, you know, it's a blanket, it's super cute, it definitely needs a good washing because, you know, it's a blanket. Yet another tapestry wall hanging, uh, I'm assuming these had to have all come from the same place, from the last one to this one, but kind of in love with them and not sure what I'll do with them. They may remain the way they are or get uh, turned into something else. Uh, this is a frozen toddler size comforter. My granddaughter, obviously. And some cloth. And this little know if it's like a table runner scarf thing pure linen uh, made in Poland it says but it's you know art Australia so we'll see if that's anything and then I just have my bag of purses bags because they're not all purses. Oh my gosh, the car is so full y'all. So, uh, this, it's, I'm sure it was like for the band or something. It's a uh, Ole Miss hanging bag. This, now, I didn't notice that it has this wear on the strap, but the rest of it's in really good shape. It's a Toomey uh, mini duffel, and it is really nice. Really nice. And I looked those up and uh, knew they are super expensive. It is, of course, not new, really, but... It's a really nice bag. This is a London Fog purse. It's just basic, cute. It would definitely, you know, hold a, a small laptop or your tablet, things like that. And I have no idea what this purse is. Uh, I saw it at the very end. I really liked the shape of it. It's like a hobo bag type. I did not see a brand on it, although I think there was, there's a style number in the, in here, but that's about it. Um, that's my haul. Uh, it's, it's a little extreme. I am about to start listing things in uh, my Poshmark, or I opened up a whole bunch of different accounts. Poshmark, Macari, Depop. Apparently, each site is better at selling different things. Like, someone said Depop for vintage, and uh, Macari, or... 
uh, it's all swirling in my head. I am a baby reseller. Like, not even newborn yet. Still gestational. But we are going to do it because I really enjoy shopping at the Goodwills and thrift stores. And the only way I can justify that is to actually sell them and try to do something. And you know what? I would love to not work a normal job. Well, my normal job is I'm a bartender. So it's not even really a normal job. I enjoy a nice, fun job. And I might, you know, continue to do that because I don't work that often. But... It would be nice to not totally rely on that, just in case. And, uh, so that's it. Uh, let me know what your favorite thing was. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. I'm slowly growing an audience, very slowly. Let me know what I can change, what I can do better, what you like, what you don't like open to suggestions. If you saw something that you have to have, just send me a message. Let me know. Um, I have no idea when stuff will get listed. So if there is something you want or that you've seen in a previous video, let me know so I can put it up and uh, let you know that it's there. Or just send you an invoice to start with and work it out that way and thanks guys um i know this is a long one because that was a lot to haul and maybe i'll stop until i get this under control maybe not we'll see thanks for watching guys here just a, a quick this is what my car looks like now my passenger seat back seat. It's in my lap. It's in the windows. It's everywhere. So, gotta get this inside washed and put away.